I was using my Nigerian lesson and the traffic register. But anytime when police stop me, they see Nigerian lesson, pack, 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 pack. Do you have guns? You know? Do you carry trucks in your car? I mean, what kind of statement was is that? And they will check, they will do everything. I know my everything is right and I'm not afraid of anything. My name is Dr. Lawan Abdul Hamid. I'm a senior lecturer in the Division of Mathematics at the University of Bitwatersrand in Johannesburg. I have been in this country for 12 years. Earlier I came for my doctoral study, you know, which I studied for four years. I went back to Nigeria. South Africa keep on pushing me to come back. The university you know, keep on giving me part-time, coming every, every two, three months, you know, to teach and to research, to, to, to supervise students. And finally, they pushed me to come back. And, you know, when, when I finally took a job to come, my family and friends were saying, why are you going to South Africa? While I got a job to, in the UK, in the US, I said, no, I prefer to be in South Africa. For all the period that I've been in South Africa, I have never experienced any xenophobic attack. I only see it in the media. Um, and the process of my papers applying for immigration processes was very smooth for me. When I applied for my ID, you know, I got it in three months. You know, which, you know, for me was, was really um, a good experience. And one of our neighbors in the northern part of Nigeria, we had a South African who was, who is, became our brother because he grew up in the north. He did his primary school, his secondary school. He married my sister, Fatima, you know, and he was, but they are back now in South Africa. And later, the governor of Bochi State you know, in my state, call him back. He said, no, I need your services in my state because they happen to be in the same class in their secondary school and in their universities. And that tells a lot about the long history of, you know, Nigeria and South Africa. And currently, you know, uh, in the university, I chair the ethics committee, which, which is a committee of integrity. You know, and for for the university to identify a Nigerian to say chair this committee, that tells a lot about the extent of our integrity. And and when I came and I listened to you know the, something on the road that is missing, there is a missing link or missing communication of what is in the media. And I like what the chairman is saying that we cannot allow the minority to define an agenda for us. You know, there I know of in the academia, in the universities, I know a lot of professors, a lot of people making huge contribution, you know, that are Nigerians in South Africa, that South Africans are appreciating their contributions. They, they, are, they are, you know, seriously appreciating their contributions. <coughs> and then when, you know, it was only last year I got a driver's lesson because I was using my Nigerian lesson and the traffic register. But any time when police stop me, they see Nigerian lesson, pack, 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 pack. Mm. And they will, they will, because I know <laughs> all my papers are right, and nothing would happen to me. No, I, they also make me pack when I finish. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So, so, yeah. <laughs> so, so it was, it was quite interesting for me. Do you have guns? You know, do you carry trucks in your car? I mean, what kind of statement was is that? And they will check, they will do everything. I know my everything is right, and I'm not afraid of anything. I know that this country has a law, and the law is well respected. You know, I say they are doing their job. I allow them to do their job, and they will leave me. You know, and last year I said, mm, let me, what's the process to get a driver's license? I begin to search, you need to do a combustion and all that. And I follow all that processes and I got my, my driver's license. Now when they checked my driver's license, they say pass. <laughs> you know, the, the issue of the kind of, and I was saying to myself, 
Why, why Nigeria? Is it because they don't look at me as a person? They are just looking at the name Nigeria? You know, and that is why when this invitation comes, in fact, you know, I'm supposed to be sitting in, in, in a meeting where we are doing selection where, you know, for an appointment of some lecturers in, in the university, but I had to you know, send an apology because I see this meeting very, very important. You know, I mean, I, I actually need to be here and, and share some, some thought. Um, thank you so much for the opportunity to talk. I don't want to talk too long.